this is a 20 and 20 uh, 12 all right one desirable feature of the software component of our information technology system is portability defining term software portability software portability is the the ability to use the same code piece on another computer with minimal changes. Yeah. Alright, now the possibility B um Speed of an information technology system is dependent on the characteristics of its component. For each component is to be low state one characteristic that can affect the speed of an IT system. The speed of an information technology system is dependent on the characteristics of the component. For each component is to be low state one characteristic that can affect the speed of an IT system. Right, hardware. Um, outdated hardware could have no inputs and outputs, thus affecting the speed. Software um, poorly written software could have bugs that speed um, causing it to crash. User, um, user ignorance of the system would cause them to use the features inefficiently. All right, that would be cool there. They would make mistakes. All right, biometrics is an approach used to authenticate users of information systems. State two biometric scans that can be used to authenticate users. Two biometric scans that can be used to authenticate users. Fingerprint. Face detection. Um, iris scan. Yeah. I right, discuss two major concerns that users may have with respect to a biometric based authentication system. Um, okay, two major concerns. This kind of technical, so because it says discuss, so you have to give some sort of example or some sort of breakdown. So one would be um, reliability. The system may not work accurately all the time due to malfunctions example fingerprints fingerprints sometimes you have to put your finger twice or something like that for you to read two could be um health concerns or san sanitize sanity or sanitization for health concerns health concerns uh, repeated use of um, a touch based system may accumulate germs and bacteria. ITF could probably put like um um security yeah, they could be afraid of the security because their information could be stored or leaked or some kind of thing like that. Um, and then, well, is a stretch if you could you, if you say body parts, you could say body parts may be cut off, like you cut off your fingers. So all those will be accepted too. All right, some systems use a combination of biometrics, username, and password to authenticate users online. Two advantages of including biometrics together with username and password. All right, advantage number one would be. There are two factors of authentication which provides a fallback option. Oh, no, not fallback option. Which provides a higher level of security and comfort 
knowing that if one is compromised, the other still will. Right. Um, to, I don't know, user confidence. Yeah. User confidence in the system would be higher um, because they know the level of security is very high all right number five the human computer interface ACL information technology system is critical to the overall performance of the system some computer software packages offer both graphical user interface GUI and command line interface CLI to carry out a task explain two reasons why user may choose the CLI instead of the GUI all right this is but this is I explain probably want to give an example one would be the commands are executed much faster since there are no extra layers to system is very fast or something or oh, no the um <clears throat> the user may be tech savvy and knows knows most most of the commands already so it would be a natural fit for them. Yeah. Alright, cool. Okay. Next is an online university registration system requires new applicants to enter various pieces of information including the age of the applicant to so just identify two GUI features that could be used to capture the age of the applicant. Um, you could give them a text box, you could give them a drop down box or you could even give them a um, yeah, text box, drop down box, that's basically all they, all they have there. Alright, one of the features identified in the B5 one state one advantage of using this feature. Um, drop down box would have a set range of values. So there would be less input errors. Meaning you wouldn't put in the wrong, they wouldn't put in the wrong age. Stay to this advanced area place and help information on a user interface. And if you put the help information on a user interface, um, users may go to it for trying to actually use the interface. This question has some issues. <laughs> Two disadvantages is like what? Um which makes it slower. Makes use of it slower. I don't know. Yeah, definitely slower is one of the answers I'm looking for. And The UI can become crowded or cluttered with many options. Yeah. 
cluttered views yeah right you have been contracted by a ministry of culture to develop a software application to teach a group of vendors in a marketplace to use computers Align three important characteristics of the users of the system that should be considered when designing the right. three important characteristics of the users. Now we have vendors in our marketplace. Now this is a kind of stereotyping question. So yeah, <laughs> you might feel a little a little how when you're putting down these answers, but. This is basically what they're looking for, and this is what you generally have to consider when you're building software. So you have to take that into consideration. You want level of education, right? Considering the level of education of the vendors in the marketplace. I'm not saying that all vendors in marketplaces are not educated, but it's a reality, and you have to consider it. Um, you have to check out their computer literacy if they know how to use computers very well, and three would be their um, cultural preferences so that's things like color what country they're from so if they're from a particular country you would use the colors of their flag or things like that so level of education um uh the vendors literate enough to read Slash understand some of the words slash phrases used. Um, computer literacy would be um, uh, the vendors accustomed to using um, software on computers that you that will be used on the computers that will be used and cultural preferences um would they appreciate colors that match their culture or nationality yeah those are things i would want to consider as why there is six marks plenty all right next is several protocols are essential to the functioning of the internet for each acronym below state its meaning and its function on the internet okay http is hyper text Transfer protocol. It is used to transmit data from a web server to a web client to display web pages via a browser yeah tcp will be transmission control protocol um, it is responsible for disassembling and reassembling packets when transferred over a network IP internet protocol it is responsible for finding the most efficient routes on a network all right using a suitable example explain each of the following terms ip address is a unique identifier 
of a device on a network. Example, 192.168.1.1. A domain name is a um a coded name that matches to an IP address on the internet to make it easily accessible to users. Example www.google.com Alright, outline one reason why using the domain name of an IP address is the preferred method to access web pages. Oh, damn. Wow. I just basically explained that here. Alright. It is easier for a human to remember a domain name over a an IP address. One is words, the other is a number. If you know some he he must remember numbers faster, but close enough. Alright, for the World Wide Web www to exist an organized collection of resources and a relationship among the key components. Describe the relationship among the key components of the world web. Right. Our website is a group of interconnected web pages. Our web page is a single HTML document and a hyperlink is a um a HTML coded word that links to another web page or resource it could be a web page or resource it's mine alright that's our module 2